Hello and welcome to i3 Robotics. In today's tutorial of Tinkercad Arduino circuit, we are going to connect a seven segment to Arduino and we will make, we will display some numbers on it. So let's get us started. I'm already inside the Tinkercad. I have logged in uh, into the Tinkercad and you can see the first thing I will do is I will change the title. And the title is uh, display numbers on seven segment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, display numbers on the seven segment. So we do have a seven segment display. Uh, we can further rectify it. Okay, I'll be showing you within fraction of seconds. So let me drag a seven segment. In order to get the seven segment, you can check the cursor where you have components and the components is select all. And if you have selected all, just scroll down and you will get a seven segment. Here I have. So this is a seven segment, right? And uh, something I will be talking about the seven segment. Let me zoom it a bit for you. And now you can see seven segment. It has got its name because it has seven LEDs which is arranged in such a way that when a multiple or sets of LEDs are turned on, it displays a number. Along with it has one more, uh, you know, uh, something to display, uh, one more LED, which is called decimal point. So that is there. We are not going to connect. And to make uh, this LED to turn on, we do have a pin called DP. So if the DP pin is high or low, we can turn it on and turn it off accordingly. So we'll be working on these seven LEDs only and we will learn to display uh, numbers zero to nine on it. That's fun. That's fun. Let's get going. So in order to do it, we can see we do have so many pins available here like G, F, common pin and A, B, below C, D and E. So these are the pins through which these pins only we can display numbers. Of the seven segment right so the first thing first we do have common pins so these common pins like we need to either connect it to ground or to five volt okay depends on what kind of seven segment we are using if we are using common anode you connect to plus pin but today we will work on common cathode so in case of common cathode we connect these common pins to ground and remaining all pins like a b c c D, E, and F, G. These pins we will connect to Arduino's control pin. Okay, that's fine. So why these pins are numbered? Pins are numbered because you can check over there in the right hand side the image as well and here also. On the top LED, this is A, this is B, C, D, E, F, and the center one is G. So these are the LED. If you wanted to display one, you need to turn on only B and C LED. Okay, B and C. Remaining all, you have to keep it off. You will be able to see as one. So whatever I'm talking about, let me connect it first to uh, Arduino. So let's drag one Arduino. It is here. And the first thing is to make a circuit to connect them. So I'm going to connect it first. Okay, there is very super easy way to connect it. So what I'm going to do, first thing first, Let's connect ground pin, like common pin, common pin, right? So common, it is common cathode and we have to ground it. We have to connect it to ground. So in order to connect to ground, we need to have a register also so that we can protect it, protect it from, uh, you know, uh, over current and from getting it burned. So I'm going to connect it to a resistance. Let me quickly choose black. I always connect ground pin uh, and I always choose black because uh conventionally the black wire it represents the ground wire so here we are let me quickly rotate it also and connect the ground pin so the common pin is connecting to ground because common it's common cathode if you are selecting common anode you can connect it to the plus pin that's fine so this is done now and next is to connect the remaining pins like a b c d so let's connect a you are free to choose any one of the pin. Uh, I will start from pin number uh, two. 
okay so pin number two and b i will choose pin number three okay b i will choose pin number three c uh, I, 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 I will choose pin number four okay that is c and d you are free to choose any number i'm going to choose this yellow and e is left that is pin number six f is seven and last is g g i've connected to pin number eight that's done you see how nicely our connection is done so finally we have connected our uh, seven segment to arduino and this is the time now to write some code because without code your arduino is going to do nothing it will just sit idle it's of no use so now i'm going to write code for it in order to write code first we'll start with uh, you know that what kind uh, what number we will display so for i will display zero okay so in order to display zero uh, remember in order to display zero you can see on the right hand side as well what we need to do we need to turn on all the led except center one center one is g so turn on all the leds except center that is g okay so for that uh, what we do we go to output section and drag all those pins set pin zero uh, you know we'll drag all this pin first for eight pins eight blocks i will drag one seven for you sorry seven pins are there so seven blocks i will drag one two three four five six and one seven let's select pin so pin number one uh, so it started with started with two so two and three four five six and seven these are there have we started with two yes i think two three four five six seven eight i have connected eight isn't it something uh, that is wrong going on no seven only okay so two through seven it is uh, i know total eight so eight is there okay that's fine so we have connected and in order to display zero only g we need to turn it off so g g is let me see g is connected to pin number eight so pin number eight will make it low okay and remaining all we have to turn it on and now afterward i will say them to wait for one second okay and after he will wait for one second i will turn on i will display another number and this time i will display one so this time i will display one in order to display one remember b and c we will turn on and remaining all will keep off so let me see b is connected to pin number three and c is connected to pin number four so three and four i will turn high remaining all will be low so three and four we will keep high remaining all we will keep low then what it will display it will display one to me you can see only three and four is high remaining all is low so this is two likewise you can display any numbers on it i will just i'm going to start simulation so you can get the overview is it working or not you can see uh, in simulator first it is displaying zero and one then again zero and one zero and one so further you can display three four five six whatever number whatever the number you want to display okay all the best see you later in the next tutorial